guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the My WW Blue Plan. Today it's another holiday Vlogmas video. I have a fantastic gingerbread inspired holiday treat recipe for you today. It is not WW friendly to put that out up front. Now you can make it WW friendly. So in the recipe on my website, I will make some notes of some modifications you can make to help reduce the points and the calories. But we are making it full holiday with all the real butter, real sugar, and flour that the recipe calls for. I'm excited for today's video because it's going to, again, bring in those gingerbread vibes into my holiday. You'll find this recipe on my website. My website is down in the description box below. You'll also find my nutrition coaching website. I have personalized macro and calorie calculation as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching in 30 and 60 minute sessions. Definitely, definitely take advantage of macros and calories so you can set yourself up for success for 2021. You'll also find links and discount codes to the items I shared today and all my favorite things. And of course, last but not least, my Facebook group. Definitely join my group. I have so much fun stuff coming your way for the new year, plus a huge announcement was made in that group this last week. So definitely head on over and join us. So we have a holiday gingerbread recipe to make, so let's jump in. For today's Vlogmas video, today's holiday treat, we are making gingerbread cookie bars with cream cheese frosting, homemade frosting. Who doesn't love gingerbread during the holidays? So let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need baking soda, flour, sugar, brown sugar, molasses, and then the recipe actually calls for nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, all your traditional gingerbread spices, but I'm using the Dax pumpkin spice in place of that because this contains all of those plus honey, which just puts this over the top when it comes to these types of holiday pumpkin, clove, nutmeg spices. You can pick Dax up for 10% off and free shipping using my code here on the screen and there's a link down below. I love Dax. There are no salt, no MSG, nice, clean, clean ingredients, and literally they have the best seasonings ever. So definitely check out Dax, but we are going to replace several spices with this one. You're also going to need some vanilla extract, an egg, butter, cream cheese. I'm just using one third less fat cream cheese and powdered sugar. So let's make some gingerbread bars. So to start our gingerbread bars, we're going to add in one half of a cup of melted butter. I just tossed that in the microwave for about 30 seconds and it melted it pretty well. We're also adding one third cup of the star of gingerbread and that is molasses. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. And then we're going to put in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I never measure that, I just kind of eyeball it. And then last but not least, we have one quarter cup of brown sugar. And then we are going to cream this all together on low speed with a hand mixer. We're going to add in one cracked egg and then just stir with a spoon until combined. You don't want to over stir, just make sure that egg gets mixed in. We're going to put in two teaspoons of a baking soda, two cups of all purpose flour, then all of your spices, or in my case, just the Dax pumpkin spice. It wants about a two teaspoons of spices, so I'm just going to put in two teaspoons or so of the Dax pumpkin pie and a pinch of salt, and then we are going to stir until fully combined. into a grease nine by 13 baking dish. Here is our mixture. I ended up adding about two tablespoons of water. It just was pretty dry. So don't feel bad if you have to add water to your mixture. We're going to add all of this to the baking dish and spread it out in the bottom nice and even. Here are our bars. These look so good, you guys. These are going in a 350 degree oven until they're cooked about 15 to 20 minutes. Definitely do not overcook. The gingerbread cookie bars just came out of the oven. Look at how incredible 
these look. We are going to whip up the cream cheese frosting while these cool. Make sure they are cooled completely before frosting. To my medium sized bowl, I added my eight ounces of reduced fat cream cheese. You can use reduced fat or regular. I have a quarter of a cup of butter, so I'm going to add that. This is softened butter. It's been sitting out the whole time while we made the rest of the recipe. And then we are going to do a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And with your handheld mixer or stand mixer, we are going to mix this until it is creamed together. And then we will slowly, meticulously add in the powdered sugar. cream cheese frosting. This looks amazing. So we're just going to set this aside until our bars are cooled. The bars are cool. So we are going to frost them with this decadent cream cheese frosting. So go ahead and frost them completely. And then I think for a little added extra holiday pizzazz, we're gonna put on some holiday sprinkles. step is I'm going to add some of the green and the red kind of sanding sugar to the top. How fun, how fun, how festive. And who doesn't love number one gingerbread and number two cream cheese frosting. So these are going to be our gingerbread bars. We're going to taste test these next. So I'll let you know my first impression taste test of these bars, but these look absolutely incredible. All right, we're going to try the gingerbread bars. Honest, First impression of these bars. Wow, oh my gosh, they're so good. I taste ginger. It's ginger bread and then that sweetness from the frosting. So good. Oh my gosh, definitely make these for the holidays. Thank you for joining me for today's holiday gingerbread recipe. I hope you are as excited as I am to make this for my family for the upcoming holiday. Again, the recipe is on my website, which is in the description box, along with my nutrition coaching website, links and discount codes to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Come on over and join us. If you love today's video, please do me a favor and give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and kind of lets me know what content to put out for the rest of Vlogmas. And if you haven't already, again, help me reach my goal of 30,000 subscribers and turn on the notification bell and hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas, happy, happy Vlogmas, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.